historically, there's always been a very strong correlation, ultimately, between GDP uh, on, in one sense and then corporate profits at the next level and then ultimately with media expenditure, whether in advertising or, or indeed in other, uh, in other ways. And what you've really seen in the last 10 years is that that correlation has started to dilute. And the, the nature of how that uh, correlation is diluting is, is in fact accelerating, particularly for print media, but perhaps in fact for all media. What we believe is happening is a kind of bumpy, bumpy ride across, across the bottom, that actually what's going to happen over the next two or three years is stagnation. It's almost academic, whether it's slightly up or slightly down. Whether it's a recession is almost academic. It won't be a deep recession that comes, but it will be a, a, bump, a bump along the bottom. And really, for the next two or, three, two or three years, you have stagnation before you have any chance of, of anything resembling real material growth. What B2B media also means is an integrated community service. And, and largely, that meant a print product with an occasional live event perhaps attached to it. That was the historic picture of, of, of B2B. And I think moving forward, uh, B2B businesses have a very real opportunity in terms of uh, a multi-platform approach to classified advertising, to sponsorship, and ultimately to engagement with the business community with which it's, uh, with which it's serving. Uh, and that can be a subscription model, multiple classified model. I mean, there are a whole variety of different revenue streams there. But the key to it is making sure that uh, in aggregate, the, the brand name ar that, that is the umbrella around all of this is the absolute must-have sector leader. What you end up looking at in practice is, are you making a very big change or are you making a series of small changes? Are you making lots and lots and lots and lots of tweaks to develop online services for your, your end users in, within, within the industry? Uh, or are you making some fundamental large change away from print and, onto, and into a kind of online service? And I think in practice, there is a big change which is about uh, the people within the business understanding that this is a fundamentally different approach to the community and to the industry and to the brand that you represent. Uh, but then having got over that fence or, 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 or across that line, there are then a whole myriad of tweaks that exactly those people are in a position to make. I think it's simplistic to say we've gone from print to online. Somehow we'll just publish our, you know, I'll publish our magazine on an internet uh, on an internet site, and somehow it will all start to tick. The classifieds will work and everything. That is not actually how it will work. That's the one thing you can be sure about. That is a classic way of accelerating the decline and ultimately the demise of your business. I think. But if you look at it very differently from that, if you step right back and think, what is the service that this industry needs in practice? And, and, you know, there isn't, again, a single answer to that. And almost certainly within, a, within any individual industry, there will be a series of answers, and it will be in a hierarchy. They will need this kind of service, and they will need these kind of, these kind of services sitting underneath it. A lot of that will be digital. Some of that will be live. And some of it may even still be in print for a very, very long time. But the, the real point is that you don't rule in or out anything just on the basis of what format it is. You rule it in or out in terms of demand, need, uh, and the actual industry, the dynamics, if you will, of the industry that you are, that you are trading into.